Welcome back guys, thank you very much for joining me. Today we've got another exciting day. We've got the R255 SMS multi-material 255mm sliding miter saw. Now we're going to give this a non-biased review. Evolution have sent me this, so I can put it through its paces with some materials that they've also sent as well. I will however be adding a few materials myself just to see how it copes up. I've never had a sliding miter saw. I do have a, a normal chop saw and a normal miter saw but I have been waiting to get a bigger one for on-site and, and obviously bigger jobs. So I'm quite excited about this. I'm hoping Evolution won't let me down, which I'm sure they won't. But either way, whatever the outcome, this will be a nice non-biased review. So as we always do guys, let's take a look inside the box. This does come flat packed, so we will have to assemble this. I will chuck this in another video up there now, so it's separate from this one. And then we'll take a look over its specifications, do a demonstration, then go into some final thoughts at the end as we always do. So let's crack on guys, and we'll take a look inside the box. So this is what it looks like guys, so we've got the set of instructions which we always need to read of course, uh, we've got the circular blade right there, we've got the carriage slide right here, pretty hefty bit of kit, we've got the hold down clamp, we've got the cable clamp and we've got the mitre handle locking knob. So let's take the rest out. Woo! Look at that bad boy. Oh, it's just gorgeous. So there we've got the cutting head. Quite a hefty bit of kit that is. Beautiful. And there's the base. And we've also got the table extensions in there, guys. Don't forget those, they're tucked away in the polystyrene. And now for the specifications. Utilising Evolution's patented multi-material cutting technology, new and improved from its Rage 3 predecessor, the R255 SMS sliding miter saw is optimised to cut mild steel, non-ferrous metals, wood, even wood with embedded nails and plastic with one blade. No blade changes, faster work, perfect for any DIY or tradesman. Accurate cutting with sliding functionality, adjustable depth of cut and laser precision guidance. Smooth, square, reliable, cut in every time in a variety of materials. A huge cross-cut capacity enables you to trim skirting boards, cornices, boards, decking and more. Ambidextrous ergonomic horizontal trigger with comfortable grip, fights repetitive strain. Of course it's compatible with the Evolution's Mitre Saw stand. And of course the Evolution 255mm diamond blade can also be fitted for cutted ceramic tiles and ornamental stone. This Japanese tungsten carbide tipped 255mm blade of course is included. Now for a few more figures, on a 240 volt it's 2000 watt motor, on a 110 volt it's 1600 watt, it's got a no load speed of 2500 RPM, a max miter of 50 degrees, a max bevel of 45 degrees, the blade guard is cast aluminium, the cable length is 2 meters and the dust port diameter is 36 millimeters. Number of teeth on the blade is 24, the bore size is 25.4 and the kerf is 2 millimeters. It's got a max cross cut of 300 times 80, a max bevel cut at 45 degrees of 210 times 80, max compound cut of 45 45 at 210 times 45, and it cuts up to a 6mm mild steel plate and 3mm mild steel box sections. The product dimensions are 360mm by 705mm by 730 The product weight is 15.3kg, so it's not exactly light, but the package weight is 17.6kg. So, all in all, quite a hefty piece of kit. So first up to the test, we've got some normal wood with some nails banged in the end. So we'll see how this performs, shall we?
Look at that. Brilliant. And on there, nice and smooth that. Beautiful. So now we've got some aluminium stud channeling. We'll give it a go. Not too many burrs on there either. Quite nicely cut. Yeah, that's perfectly fine, that is. So now we're gonna go ahead and test the new plastic decking that we've got. Very expensive stuff. Yeah, beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and test some very mild, flexible steel now. This should be an absolute breeze. Next up we've got 3mm tubing. Again, a nice clean cut really. A little bit of filing, but nothing major at all. Again, a nice clean cut on that side. Next up, we've got the three millimeter angled steel. Again, sort of the same sort of thing, just a different angle. Same sort of thing. Very clean, just might need a little bit of filing down, but nothing major at all. Really a good steady clean cut. Now we're going to go ahead and try the 3mm square box section. Yeah, pretty good. Nice clean cuts. Bit of filing to do, but nothing major. Say so he's getting the angle grinder out. Next up, we've just got some floorboard that we're gonna try. I'm sure it's gonna absolutely blaze this. All in all, a very, very clean cut. And on the existing board too. So next I thought I'd throw in my own. I've just got a bit of scaffolding board that I've just found laying about, so I'll give this a go and see how well it copes. Not bad, not bad at all. Not a bad cut, a few little birds at the end there. But quite a clean cut to say straight out of the box. Next I've just got this old lump of wood that I found. This is actually six inch by two and a half inch. So I'm sure it'll do absolutely fine, but we'll give it a go. Quite a clean cut there. Yeah, it's quite straight. A nice clean cut on the other side as well. Yeah, definitely usable. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut some materials at 45 degrees to see how well it cuts.
Not too bad really. And that's two pieces together there. They actually line up really well. To say it's straight out of the box and I haven't touched it at all. Calibrated it or anything, I've not done anything. Straight out of the box. Let's go ahead and try some PVC pipe work then, shall we? Pretty good. Look at that. Not that we would do this, but still, the cut's really good. So now we'll go ahead and try some of the 3mm angled steel at 22.5 degrees. A few sparks there, but still a pretty clean cut. Not too shabby at all, I don't think bit of filing down there but nothing major and lastly I figured we'd just go for the copper at 45 degrees because wood seems a bit too easy straight through it I mean it's not like we're going to use this 45 degree cut but it's good to see it go through copper like that anyway so yeah, well impressed. Nice and clean. So this was a 45 bevel cut at 22.5 degrees. One of the key features for me is a depth stop. I know full well that I'm going to use this to its full advantage, and I think it's a great little asset. All you need to do is set the screw to the desired depth, flip the stop latch across, and that's it, you're ready to go. And it's just a case of simply setting the saw up, off you go, stop, and across. And there you go, look, it won't go any further than that. Flip the catch back over like so, so it's out of the way. And then there you go, you're back to full depth. I also like the fact that the only tool you're ever gonna need is on the back left hand leg. And all it is, is this Allen key here with two sizes, one at the top, one at the bottom. You can change the blade, adjust the saw, and that's all you're ever gonna need. And it's just right there, tucked away nicely. It's hard to miss the obvious handle, and I prefer the horizontal ones to the vertical ones because they're just easier to hold and they just feel a lot nicer. Can't miss the evolution stop here. This is the blade stop. All you do is literally push that in and of course the blade guard will lift up as you lower it down. The push button itself is located on the back obviously and it's almost the full width of the handle so it makes it nice and you're not fiddling about for the button, it makes it nice and easy to get to. Also on the handle is a laser button, slide it on, slide it off, slide it on, slide it off. And there's a laser there, just at the bottom. And again another feature which I think is brilliant is the fact that they've put the cable clips in and coupled it with a cable tidy which again, brilliant for transport. Makes it nice and easy just to lift up, carry away without worrying about cable management. Like most saws, don't forget to move your fence back across when you finish with it, out of the way, because when you are beveled, obviously you're gonna go straight through that, and it's just attached by a simple clip right next to the clamp there. There's your increments on the base there on both sides, left and right. When you go to adjust it, it does slot into place as well. At 15 degrees, 22.5, 30 and 45 degrees so you don't even have to fiddle around for the right setting it does it for you and the quite abrupt stops as well so you know you're there
And all you've got to do is tighten it up and you're away to go. Job done. Well, now for the big important question. Would I recommend this saw? You know what? Yeah, I would. Would I buy it? Yeah. Because truth be told, this saw is perfect for me. It's exactly what I'm looking for. It cuts multi-material, it's rugged, it's strong, it's big, it's sturdy. It's got extremely good features on it. I know I've only had today to review it, but all in all, so far, I'm quite impressed, especially when it's came out of the box and I've had to adjust nothing on it. It feels extremely well made, and I do believe it's gonna be a great addition to me on site. One thing that I do like about Evolution, and that's they're very, very competitive with their prices. And for what you get, you know, you're getting a good deal, end of the day. This saw here is certainly not a knockoff saw or anything like that. If you're looking for something that's multi-purpose, you can use on site, not a specific trade, but I'm talking about multi-purpose, then this saw is aimed at you. So yeah, I'm happy to say I'm going to be keeping this saw. I'd like to thank Evolution for giving me the opportunity to test it and keep it. And I'd like to thank you for watching. So if you did enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next video, guys.